played against him a couple of games ago, I think. Not a big fan of playing against that champ. Uh, his pull can be kind of frustrating, like the little circle thing. Uh, even though Akali runs very fast, she tends to not run fast enough to get out of that circle. 30 seconds until minions spawn. It's kind of a frustrating way it interacts with your kit. <sighs> Wait a second. Did they land swap? Steals better. Just dodge that real quick. Ah, we gave him uh mana flow. Oh well. Minions have spawned. Look at that though. Literally full HP after getting hit. I love <laughs> second wind, orange shield. We're, the we're thriving. Will be my new mantras. Let's try to sneak around real quick to get our award. Alrighty, so after that last loss, we are plat 3, 12 LP. This is my first game of the day. Uh, I've gone to sleep. Well rested, I'm ready to go. Ready to have some good games on a cog. And by good games, I mean horrible, awful games where I have to play against Aesol. Oh, I hit this champ. <laughs> I like listening to his little laser. His circle pulls me. I miss the I miss the comets. That was fun. Oh, I'm sure. We can't like really go in on this guy in the same way we could normally on the control mage or a battle mage type guy because. Has a lot of AoE damage. But even if we're invisible, we can still get chunked out really hard. Like, his damage is really high early, it's just that his mana is pretty intense, so he normally can't, like, spam things out. Trades back so efficiently in me. So our big thing is like making sure we get okay he's back. We get like some items. Make sure we actually have like a solid amount of people on him before we try to force things on our own. Now this will do that. I only ignited to try to last it. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe that was a bit toxic. I just want to look slightly larger instance of damage. I still didn't get it though. So I really want to make sure that I can afford my 10 boots in this reset I'm about to get. Pretty big, like, early game spike for us. Okay, so we're on 1100. So we can get our boots. Can't get Dark Seal too, but. I mean. Is what it is. As long as we're buying something before level 6. Once we get our ult, we got some stats behind it. We can make some pretty serious plays. Ah, wait, my E's on cooldown. Trying to dash in range and cue that minion. Can't stop what's coming. Alright, we 
got an opportunity to get some vision out. Oh no, no, we're going grubs. Actually, I should have been, I should have been thinking grubs beforehand, honestly. Oh my god, we we lost and start E on a rooted target. Okay, Blitzcrank is here. Okay, we just want to make sure we don't go the same way as Darius because I didn't know like when Kha'Zix had jumped or not or if he was going to flash. So we don't want him to be able to get over that uh, wall of the pit. But also, like, if we had just landed our E on Aesol that was um, stunned by Bullybear, that goes a lot better for us because Bullybear used to live. Um, we could just stay, like, on top of it. What was that, R? I don't think I was even going to finish my back. Okay. I was about to cancel it anyways, and he ulted to cancel it. It's going to hover this. I know I'm on a ward. But I'm only here to show them that like I'm available to help this guy. Cause like if we kill the we if we land the E, um, Aesol dies so much easier, and then we get to like stay with Volley and kill the Cosmics with them. Did he freeze on me? I think he's gonna try. Well, I super duper like the bomb.com have lethal on this guy, so I actually have to respect myself. Like he doesn't even have R, he's legitimately diveable. Oh my gosh, I can't land him. What's that? Oh no! Oh, that's so sad. The knock up made it so my E um, had me in place instead of like finishing the dash. And so you see, like, I'm on the. I, like, Blitzcrank is here, and I'm on the left of him. I E to like dash and then land it on him. Um. Uh, we're buying this, Dark Seal, Ruby Crystal. And so, because we're knocked up, our dash doesn't go. So she just kind of rolls in place and then throws up the shuriken. And we haven't moved to the right, so we hit Kha'Zix instead. So like, we only were going to be able to actually find lethal on Blitzcrank. Uh, so like, it's kind of a waste on the Kha'Zix. Plus I... It means I was like in range of Kha'Zix like a half a second earlier. Instead of him having to like walk up to auto me or to kill me, he could just do it. So I didn't have enough time to even react. We'll like look at this in just a second. Our wave is show, so we're free to move again. But yeah, the like the shroud play and whatnot, like that's just some standard little Akali movement. Oh my gosh, I can't land anything. I have R in 5 seconds. I might still be able to follow up on this. Okay, we just use this jump. We can't do anything here. And we can just like follow up on Tatum. I really wanna- Ooh, I'm so glad she flashed because now I get to like more- Morally acceptable kill on Caitlyn. Oh, thank you Caitlyn. Oh, because I wanted to take that kill from you also. But like, it would be wrong. But Caitlyn's like, you know what, here. Let me flash from it and put it on a silver platter for you. Oh, she's actually giving like the mental boost to my team. Like everybody, like five man honor Caitlyn after this. Alright, 
I think he's just out because he's gonna jump. Bro, I am, I'm whiffing. Call me Swiffer Whiff Jet. Yeah, so like I didn't just go in right there because he had everyone behind him. Like he had the Blitzcrank and the Caitlyn behind him. His jump should have been like back up. Or like up very soon and he's just like falling for it. That's so like hard. Like, and I didn't have ult to really make like a crazy like 1v5 play or something. Like sometimes we just have to be honest with ourselves. It can be over. Oh, it has to be a goal. Oh, I'm so in this fight. I love Invis champs. Oh, oh, oh. So awkward because I don't want to be in his laser, but I, he's got his right laser now, so I'm being slowed in it. I don't want to be in the laser, but I also want him to stay in range of my E. I don't know. Okay, now I have my rocket belt. I actually have a way to like dodge it, which is nice. Um, yeah, I mean, we were sitting on a lot of gold there. Maybe troll to like be forcing plays, but. It looked good at the start. I just kind of didn't find the angle. Like, my R <laughs> under turret was kind of suspect, and I didn't, like, see what was happening with Toxics over here. It was just some, uh, some low-octane gaming with a high-octane angle. I almost just kept up with them, like, in his, like, flying thing. Okay, yeah, I like this dragon play a lot. Aesol's been forced off of it. I don't think he even has his R back up yet. Like, it should have soon. It has, like, a really long cooldown, and he used it, like, 20 seconds before mine? Nah, I should be good. Kha'Zix dies for this. I went in this. Okay, we're coming bot here. I'm ulting and make sure I have my R2 ready to get onto these next guys. A sweeper. Alright, well, we're just staying active. Getting our steps in. We kind of KS Volley in the pit, but also, like, kills are literally worth more gold on us because we have a Dark Seal. Like, we get extra stats on that for free. Get rid of this, get it's that, get this, grab our receiver. <sighs> We're coming close to like our big spikes here. Cause like the, the classic AP champion spike was when you had um, your sword shoes and like Oblivion Orb for the, for the flat pen. Back when they used to give that. So as soon as we finish our Shadow Flame, we're basically on that old spike. Cause like what you used to build on Akali, like when I first started playing the game, it was Gunblade, which oh man, mm. what an item. <laughs> oh, just reminiscing real quick. So. It's like when you say a random like. 50s name in an old person's home. Like, you say something like Bertha, like eight men in the room will start like 
looking up at the sky wistfully. <laughs> you see Gunblade in front of me and I'm like, oh man, it's been so long since I've talked to Peggy. Is that nine star? I didn't see it do the little sweep out thing on the map. I've done that before. Your team has destroyed a turret. Do I not know how ASOL works? Am I crazy? Yeah, but so back in the day when I when I play a call, you would build um gunblade with your sword boots and then oblivion orb. And that would give you as much flat pen as you could get. On like uh this guy's really hard to force anything onto. Like, we can basically only kill Aesil, like, in the jungle or, like, in bot lane or something, like, when he's caught out. But in lane, like, this kite's bad. Like legitimately die here. It's fine. He's just such a scary champ. Like legitimately, if you guys are playing against a Kali, like so many knives. I'd say the top picks to like try to counter her. Um, if you're if you like if you play a mage, you're, like you're a mage player, play Aesol. He's the best mage against a Kali. Uh, if you like tanks, you can play Galio, or even Gragas. Both of those are good. Um, so if you like to play assassins, the best assassin against her by far is Nefiri. Because the dogs are like, always block. They always block E. So you disable that, like, from her kit. And, like, I don't know if Nefiri even reveals anymore, because I've just been from banning her, like, almost since release. But, uh, also, anything that reveals a color show. Like, Kais is also kind of a thing, but... Kaisa also gets a run down. But, if you're playing, like, AP Kaisa, you can reveal really easily with your W. And that can be a huge help for your team. Man, my my side lanes are actually like killing it. They're like both at the inhibitor already at 18 minutes. We need to like get some more objectives. So like, not just a standing gold, but you know, if he does the circle, they're like. He's not hitting me with his arm. Oh, a great pick. I find this guy. I don't mean to laugh. He's dead. This guy's just about to be dead. I'm about to get back on him. I'm slowed. He dies to Q. Oh, there's one here. They're just lining up. <laughs> right there. League of Legends is a great match. So <laughs> this is against the counter, by the way. Or at least in my opinion, what's the counter? It's like, you don't like... You don't get to just like dookie on a call and like kill her like five times or whatever. But like even if you're behind and you're just like farming and chilling in lane, like Aesol's really good at doing that and then still being able to perform really heavily. Which I think is like a pretty good way to go about playing the game. Um I want Zonya's this game. So I'm so far ahead in terms of like raw damage stats. That like I don't I don't think I need like death cap or something or like Shut or down. even percent pen because they're not building magic resistance very much. Um, 
So if I'm ever caught by like a fucking missile laser thing, I just want to be able to like turn it on a little. We're still chilling here. Oh, did I rob him of this pizza? Thank you for that song, I needed that. Okay, we'll run down Caitlyn first. Be careful the trap he's gonna put. Okay, that's a wild place for her to put that. She should've put the trap right here. I tried to sidestep it. I think I messed up mechanically in terms of sidestepping where I thought the trap was. But yeah, I don't know. Pla placing it, like, here is crazy. Because you want it to be, like, where they won't be able to see it until they're already standing on it. This kind of blue pot. So we're fighting for Baron, like this is a, this is a game determined play. We want to be able to go. Dropping frames right now. Like I'm on 40 frames. We gotta dodge that trap. Okay, we're gonna kite out here and just stall for our team and our cooldown. We don't have to do anything crazy. Like, even though we're fed and we could, like, go for, like, pentakill play, we're fine to just chill. <laughs> Get outplayed by the trap? Yeah. Like, we can let our team put in work when they're fed for GG.